So yes, if there's one thing that affects our self-esteem, it's grief and trauma, but also core beliefs and the things that impact us ever, ever since a young age. So there are a lot, a lot of um, information and beliefs about around this. But I for one know for a fact that personally my self-esteem was affected f since childhood. And then the deaths of my boys smashed it, if anything. So it was a journey for me to build myself back up. And I found the one thing that had a significant impact on rebuilding my self-esteem was gratitude. And you know, when you're feeling shit, the last thing you want to be is grateful for anything. Because we don't feel grateful, do we? And that's the God's honest truth, in fact. But let me tell you as well, gratitude works. So today I live an attitude of gratitude because I still have so much to be grateful for in my life. And if you want to know what can you be grateful for, it's simple. When I wake up every morning, the first thing I say is I am so grateful that I can actually see what's around me. The next thing I'm grateful for is what I can hear, the fact that I can smell. I can touch and I can walk and you can start with yourself because every aspect of your body is the center of what you can be grateful for. Then you can follow that by things around you that you feel grateful for. Maybe your children, your husband, your home, your garden. There's so much. The weather. You know, like here in Australia, we practically burned down as a country not too long ago. And then Australia got flooded. So, or, well, at least New South Wales, here where I am. So I gave gratitude for the water. like, And it's just about killed off all the fires. So, And then I gave gratitude for the fact that my dry garden got the nourishment it needed it was so thirsty and it got the water i prayed for so live an attitude of gratitude it's the beginning it's the start of changing your life and changing how you feel about yourself you know especially as females we never satisfied with our bodies we look in the mirror and the first thing we do is inevitably criticize and judge ourselves. I know I'm guilty of that. I look in the mirror and go, mm, I need to lose more weight or, oh my God, I need to change that or I need to change X, Y and Z actually. I've worked on that happening in, in um, actually cancelling out those negative thoughts and saying to myself I'm grateful that I am who I am. I love myself. I approve of myself and I am great. And you know in the beginning you feel silly saying those things to yourself. You may even feel downright stupid doing it but in time you will experience that as you shift your inner world, so your outer world starts shifting with you. And at the moment, I, my coping mechanism is like, for instance, when I did the video about Zandre, I really felt like shit after that. So Kian said to me, Mom, why don't we go to gym? And that's exactly what we did. And we went and spent two hours in the gym, and that made me feel a whole lot better. Now, I'm not saying everybody needs to do that. You do what you feel is best for you. But it's a suggestion. Physical exercise always makes us feel better about ourselves anyway. Um, and we all works in progress. So 
Who is anyone else to judge? I always say, those who matter won't mind, and those who mind don't matter. So, do yourself a favor, be kind to yourself, never, ever, ever judge yourself. And start this gratitude journal. <clears throat> it's a beginning. It's a place to start and to make it easy for you. I've compiled um, seven tools for you to use in starting the journey of building your self-esteem. So that includes a gratitude journal. It includes other tools on just to shift the way you view yourself and the way you think and speak about yourself. <clears throat> and these are all tried and tested tools that I've used myself as well. So nothing that I offer you um, is anything that I haven't applied myself as well. We're doing this journey together and together we will succeed. Nothing in this life is impossible. Like I said to you in previous videos, change is inevitable. It's how we deal with it that's constant. So come, let us deal with it in a positive, conducive way. So log on to my website www.angelhouseaustralia.com www.angelhouseaustralia.com Go to the shop. You'll see this video there. It's, it will be called Gratitude. And you can um, purchase the tools that are linked to this video in the shop and start your journey of enhancing yourself, building your self-esteem and let's succeed in this journey together. I so look forward to helping you in shifting your life around for the better and for you to reach those dreams and outcomes that you desire. You're worth it. So invest in yourself. It's not expensive at all. And let's go today. Just do it. Love you guys. Have a fabulous day. Bye.